Hi everybody, my name is Scott Walls. For over 25 years, I've deployed ERP applications for some of the world's largest organizations. During that time, I've taught thousands of people just like you how to discover, use, deploy, and support Oracle's back office applications. In this lesson, I'm going to teach you how Oracle got to cloud, what is meant by the term Oracle Cloud, and the difference between its software as a service, infrastructure as a service, and platform as a service service lines. Please note that this lesson is part of the Oracle Cloud Explorer course. But before we get started, did you know that you could earn free badges for display on your LinkedIn profile just by watching videos like this one? That's right. Stay until the end of this video and I'll show you how. If you're going to spend the time learning, why not let everybody know? Okay, so let's get started. Key topics for this presentation are as follows. First, 20 years of development and acquisition. Second, prior to 2011, delivered physically. Fused into one application, multiple pillars. Post 2011, delivered as a service. 2012 rebranded as Oracle Cloud, software as a service, and then finally, Confusion. Please note the dates are ballpark estimates based on media data or what I have seen in reporting. Okay, so first topic, 20 years of development and acquisition. Prior to 2010, Oracle spent roughly 20 years acquiring a premier portfolio of technology assets. This page walks through those assets by function as well as when they were acquired. During that same period, Oracle continued to develop its own technology assets, such as middleware or its relational database and EBS or eBusiness Suite, its back office, HR, finance, and supply chain applications. Second topic, prior to 2011, delivered physically. So in the years preceding 2010, Oracle sold its applications, hardware, and development stack as air quotes, products. In this model, the customer would buy these products and in most cases, pay support. Products were often delivered physically or downloaded physically from the web for installation. This diagram gives you an idea of how its different products were aligned. Third topic, the fusing of Oracle's best of breed technologies into one super application or fusion. <clears throat> Oracle started with the code line for EBS and added the best concepts from other applications it had acquired. For example, it added table set sharing from PeopleSoft, or it also added object-based menus in lieu of the data-driven menus of EBS, and so on. Within Fusion, the different types of applications were all grouped into one of five categories called pillars. You can see those pillars on the bottom right of this image. Fourth topic, post-2011, delivered as a service. So in the years immediately after 2011, the consolidation of Fusion's technologies went beyond just the software. All of Oracle's technologies were aligned with one of their three service lines, infrastructure, development, and or applications. This diagram gives you an idea of what was added aggregated into what service. So for example, in infrastructure, the compute, networking, storage, load balancing, etc., services were all aggregated and they compete with Amazon or Microsoft. In the software as a service, the HCM, FIN, accounting, management reporting, et cetera, those services were all aggregated or software and they compete with SAP or Workday. Then in the platform as a service development platform, the data management, app development, database security integration, et cetera, services were all aggregated in that service line and compete with Google Cloud, Tipto, and others. Topic number five, rebranded as Oracle Cloud SaaS. As of September, 2012, Oracle began to officially change the name of what it then called Fusion to Oracle Cloud Software as a Service. Sixth topic, Marketplace Confusion. As said earlier, Fusion Cloud applications in the Fusion moniker have largely been transitioned to Oracle Cloud Software as a Service, but there are some elements of Fusion which remain. You can see some of those on the slide. In particular, the bottom left, that Fusion Apps box is from Demo Central. So they still use the word Fusion there. And then really important, if you look in the middle left side of the slide, this is an outbound Oracle Cloud 
workflow or notification. And this, all of these come from something called infusion no reply at Oracle ADS. And so obviously the fusion name is still in the documentation and in the code for Oracle Cloud. So just the point is that it's creating some level of confusion. Okay, so now that we're done, you should understand what Oracle Cloud is, how Oracle got there, what infrastructure platform and software as a service are, and when all this happened. So that's it for this presentation, but hopefully not it for your learning journey. There are thousands of free videos just like this one for you to watch. Remember, better content, better skills, better income, better life. We want to help you get 1% better every day. Okay. As promised, here are the five steps you can perform today to start earning free badges for your LinkedIn profile. Step one, navigate to panamir.com and either sign in or join now, it's free. Step two, in the upper left, under the Discover menu, select the course that you want to watch and get badged for. Step three, watch all of the different video lessons in that course. Step four, when it's complete, send your LinkedIn profile and the course you watched and your user ID to badges at panamere.com. And then sit back and wait for step five when we attach a badge to your LinkedIn profile.